So you're walking through the woods and you come across a skull on the ground. How do you figure out what kind of skull it is? Let me show you some of the things to look for on a skull. Here's the skull of an animal. Let's see if we can figure out what this is. It's got a flat cranium, almost a flat cranium. So that means it might live in tunnels or maybe caves or somewhere, somewhere where you don't want to be banging your head all the time on it here. You can also look to see where the eyes are. Here, these eyes are called orbits. It comes from the, the Greek word orbis, which makes sense because your eyes are round and we've got the round here. If it, the eyes are in front, that means I hunt. Eyes on the side, like this little guy right here, means I hide. All right, so it looks like these guys are in front. So this might be, this might be a hunter. Another name for a hunter is predator. So it looks like we might have a predator here. Another way to tell from the animal is what's going on with the nose or the nasal area. Comes from the Latin word nasus, makes sense, the, the nasal area here, right in here. If it's really close to you, the teeth, like on this animal here, very close, you're looking at a carnivore, which is a predator. If it's pretty far apart or if it's farther away from the, the teeth, then this is prey here. The nasus is further away. Okay, so looks like this guy might be another predator because the nose is really close to the, the teeth there. So we've got predator there. Hmm. Let's kind of take a look at the dentition, which means teeth. It comes from the, word, the French word dente. How it got to teeth, I don't know from there, but this is the dentition. And you can tell many things about an animal from the dentition. Um, you got the front, here's are these incisors here we have here that help us eat things like say we can use our, we use our teeth, our incisors to eat a piece of celery. We've got some canines here. The canines, some people call them vampire teeth, but these are canines. What they do is they help to pierce and to hold and to grip and things like beef jerky. When you try to eat beef jerky, you're using your, your canines there. And then, hmm, so he's got some, this one's got some pretty strong canines here. And then we've got, so we've got a decent set of molars here, which have some high points here, but there's also some in the back for crushing. So if you were to eat, say, some nuts or something, you're using those teeth, your molars, to crush and to grind, which is what those teeth are doing here in the front. So if we look, He's, this one doesn't have a lot of incisors, but it's got some pretty serious canines here in the front. And then it has minimal, minimal um, molars and premolars there. Not really sharp premolars. When you have a skull with a sharp premolar, what that means is that's definitely a carnivore. We've got this one here with very sharp premolars right there. That's, used, that, that used, that's definitely a shredder and a terror right there. So those are animals that eat other animals, again, prey. So, I mean, I'm sorry, predator. So this looks like, hmm, if we were to look at this, taking a look at the skulls and the eyes in front, it's a predator. If the nose close to the teeth, that makes it, uh, that's a clue for a predator. It's got some pretty big canines for holding. It might be, it, uh, that also can be a predator. And it, has, it has, has all of the three teeth, the four types of teeth that we have. So it makes it a predator, but it also makes it an omnivore. This is a black bear. And it's a typical black bear. That black bears can weigh up to 150 to 200 pounds. They have a tremendous sense of smell. They can smell over 100 times better than we can. Their eyesight is pretty good and they're actually one of the the mammals other than us who can actually see color and they have a very good memory they have a great brain and they're very easily um, they're very easily taught so things like leaving your food out or if you're or feeding them they're going to remember that so never feed never feed any wildlife but especially not bears because they'll remember that let's see if we can figure out what this is let's take a look hmm the eyes are on the side so that means it's some kind of prey. It's got a really long nose, that nasal cavity we were talking about. So that's an herbivore having those teeth there. 
and that little space, there's not a lot of teeth between the front area and the back teeth. So that shows again, that's, that's an herbivore here. Doesn't have any canines, so that means it's probably not a predator. My guess is that this is some kind of prey animal and looking at the area here where the antlers used to go, this is a moose skull. All right, we're coming across the woods. We're come, walking through the woods and we come across this skull. How do you, let's try see if we can identify what this one is. Eyes on the side mean I hide, which means it's prey. It has these incisors here in the front, so it's a snipper, a nipper, a, a gnawer, so it gnaws its food. There's no teeth between the incisors and the molars, and it has no canines. So that, that means it's not a predator, so this must be some kind of prey. And with this flat skull and the way the eyes are close to the top of the skull, this is a beaver. So we find this skull in the woods. How do we identify what this is? Let's take a look again. Eyes in front mean I hunt. So this, this is looking like it might be some kind of predator. Take a look at the nose, the nasal cavity. Is it closer to the front teeth there? It looks like it's very close to the front teeth and it has those canines, those very sharp canines for piercing and holding. And this animal has a unique feature to its canines. It actually has little channels that move down so the blood, when it's eating its live prey, so the blood doesn't choke it. It actually moves down the teeth and moves away from the nose so the animal can continue to eat. It has some incisors, those canines, very sharp, very sharp. Um, premolars and molars. This is a definite predator. This is a very efficient predator. Flathead spends a little bit of time in the tunnels. They're moving around, not definitely out in the wild all the time, out, outside all the time. This is a bobcat. All right, let's look at this guy or this one as we come along in the woods here. Hmm, relatively flathead. Spends a little bit of time in tunnels out moving around there. That long elongated nose, but it's a little different. That nose is right towards the end. Even though it has a big long snout area, that nose is right towards the end of the skull. Near those incisors, pretty big canines. And if you're looking at some of those premolars and those molars, very sharp. This is another predator because it has those eyes in the front, meaning I hunt. And taking a look at the way that the, the size of this one and the way it has these special teeth called carnassal teeth, which are meant to shred and to tear. They look like two pyramids and they fit with inside of each other. So that helps it to eat its live prey. So this is another predator and this is the red fox. Walking along, how, how, what, what, what do you think this animal could be? Let's take a look. The eyes are on the side. That means I hide. It has canines here, I mean, excuse me, it has incisors here in the front, but it has none behind its incisors there, and there's no canine. So we're looking at possibly prey here, and it has some very sharp grinding teeth in the back. So this one looks like it eats a lot of vegetation there. So this one looks like it's prey, and this one is a rabbit. So if you see a skull in the woods, now you know how to identify what it could possibly be.